everyone and welcome to Ramadan day four. Um, although I don't think these videos are going up like in time with each other. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about um, I wanted to talk about working out and fasting and just tell you a little bit about what my routine has been because it's been a few days now, obviously. Um, so what I found has been working, and this was like a little plan that I put in place is I have been, hold on, is the light better like this? Oh no, not too bright, but better. Anyway, I have been waking up for Sahur and for Sahur, I've been having, um, I've been having a cup of coffee like I would when I usually wake up as well as some sort of breakfast. And then this is the main bit now. The most important bit then is to stay awake and start your day. Or this is what I've been doing anyway. Um, so I've been staying awake, starting my day, and I've had like a few hours, or sometimes it's just one hour, until the kids wake up. But usually it's about between an hour and two and a half, maybe even three hours, if I'm lucky on the weekends. I've had that amount of time to myself before they wake up to do, you know, some work, to just chill, do whatever I need to do, basically. And I found that that's actually helped me so much and really allowed me to oh yeah oh also I can work out in that time which is much more doable I found because technically I've just had breakfast like for example an hour ago or something which was so but I actually haven't been working out that early before the kids wake up I work I've been working out in the morning so like it's nine o'clock right now and I'm waiting to go into the gym after I film this so technically I've eaten what like just over four hours ago four and a half hours ago maybe that food is gonna fuel this workout and a lot of people say work out just before iftar which I think is also doable but for me I'm that's when I'm at the point where I'm getting really tired obviously that's because I've woken up at Sahur and stayed awake um, and then stayed awake all day as well because obviously kids and work etc etc this would work more for people who have children young children I think for mums who have young children because pre-kids I obviously would have just gone back to bed mate I, d I wouldn't need to worry about that I'd just go back to bed unless I had to like get to a job or something but even though even if I had like a nine to five or if I had to do work once the work is done at five I could nap after work and in between iftar and what I've been having for Sahur uh, so far has either been a bowl of porridge with a tiny fruit so like this morning I had a bowl of porridge with I had golden oats porridge Sorry, what? I'm all over the place, man. Golden syrup porridge with a plum and a coffee. That was my sahur. Oh yeah, and then I have like a whole bottle of water, so I'm peeing all morning, but I need that water so I don't dehydrate when I work out. And then I find that I'm really full once I've eaten it, but then around eight o'clock, massive hunger pain, huge hunger pain, which I've just had, but that's gone now. No headaches, alhamdulillah. Now I'm gonna do a workout. And I'll probably get another hunger pain, like big ones, around two o'clock. And then I'll be okay for the rest of the day. And then towards the end, before iftar is when I get a bit tired, a bit snappy, you know. If it's not porridge, then what I have been having is also a protein yogurt with like a banana, a bit of a heavier fruit. That's what's worked so far. We're on day four. I've worked out twice in Ramadan so far, Saturday and Sunday. Monday, yesterday, I took a rest day. I'm not going to go as hard as I usually do in Ramadan. I'm going to work out with more more intention um, for goals that I have. So currently I actually do have a, a fitness goal and that is to be able to complete a snatch test, which is to complete a hundred snatches with um, a 16 kg kettlebell, complete it in five minutes or under. That's like a kettlebell um, well-known snatch test that a lot of people um, complete and I currently cannot do it with the 16 kilos and I don't know if it's because um, it's not really because of my endurance it's more because of the pain on my hands like I just I can't bear this pain and you're not allowed to wear gloves when you do it so I've been trying recently in the last month I've got rid of my gloves and I've been trying to train without it without them but I actually went and found these which are gloves <laughs> but they're really really thin very thin and I think if I ever was to do the snatch test properly and try and get a certificate for like kettlebell teaching I think these might be allowed but I'm, I'm gonna have to check so basically this weekend 
I'm actually going to Coventry to a kettlebell workshop where they kind of teach you the big, the fundamental kettlebell moves, the six ones, and they are squat, strict press, snatch, swing, clean, and Turkish get up. Um, I can do all of them. Obviously, I do them all the time in my workouts anyway, because you, you guys know I love kettlebell workouts in particular. And most of the time I train exclusively with kettlebells, but sometimes I'll do bar work as well. Like today I will. Um, so yeah, I'm going this weekend and I'm intending to fast. It's a two day workshop from <clears throat> nine till five. And I don't know how much working out we're actually going to do in the two days, but I know we will be doing some. If it is just a workout, like one workout per day, and then the rest of it is learning and teaching and taking notes, then that's all good. I think I'll be okay, but we'll see what happens. If I really need to, then I will break my fast. Like if I'm really feeling faint or dizzy or like I can't, I can't, like there's no point in being there because I can't even focus. And technically I'll be traveling, so I could break my fast on those days, but I really want to try and keep them. So we'll see what happens. Inshallah, I'll be okay. These are my fitness goals. So this is, so any kind of workouts that you see that I share randomly, like even today, is kind of stuff to help me work towards getting that goal. I will be doing, I'll be skipping for warm up, obviously. Hopefully I don't get carried away and then end up only skipping. Always happens. And then I'll be doing really light deadlifts. So it's almost like a circuit. I'll be doing really light deadlifts. I'll be doing just like plank stuff. And then I'll be doing um, snatches with a 20 kilogram kettlebell and a 16 kilogram kettlebell and potentially a 14 and a 12 and swings then I'll be doing swings as well with a heavy kettlebell with a 20 kilogram single arm swings because single arm swings heavier than your kettlebell snatch test weight which is 16 will be will help you prepare for that because it's pretty much the same movement and then you just punch it up in the air but anyway I'm probably rambling on and this is really niche but I'm just letting you know what my goals are so you understand why I'm doing maybe that kind of workout or why it's a bit of bit of a weirder, weirder workout than what you usually see online. Because I don't really tend to do regular workouts where you kind of, you know, back and biceps on this on Monday and then glutes and hammies on Tuesday. I don't really do isolated kind of work. I tend to do full body compound and ballistic movements. Um, I just find that way more enjoyable and more functional for me and my life and I've seen a lot of progress with it and strength gains a lot so that's why I'm doing this kind of stuff so the workout that I show you today I'm literally just showing you it because I'm sharing it with you I actually I don't want you to try this unless you unless you want to because you because you're familiar with a lot of this stuff and you're into kettlebells then go for it but I know a lot of you guys are interested in working out but you you haven't started yet and you're pr super beginner like I was two years ago like literally two years ago I was the most beginner beginner on the planet I was like beginner as in like how do you squat again or like my squat was just like like I just didn't know I don't I've learned so much basically over the last two years so like I'm talking really beginner now then don't do any of this there's just no point um but one day I will share maybe a beginner kettlebell workouts because like I said, I'm really interested in kettlebell stuff. So I would be happy to share kettlebell workouts potentially. And I think there's enough of like all the other kind of workouts out there that you don't really need me to show you that. There is a lot of kettlebell inspiration out there and a lot of people that do kettlebell stuff. But it's not really like the main... I don't think it's the mainstream just yet. It's still very niche. And there's people parking up beside me now on both sides looking at me like, what are you talking to, love? So this is quite awkward. But it's fine because whatever in it. So it's gonna be awkward for a bit. So anyway, those are my kind of fitness goals. Um and yeah, so far so far the routine I've had in Ramadan has been working. We'll see how I feel in today's workout. I mean I'll try and film as much as I can. I'm not gonna actually take the camera in. I mean I'll bring it just in case it's empty and I can film. But I'm actually going to try and film on my phone and see how that goes. There's my neighbour. So, just not talk for a bit. Because this is so awkward. They're both just getting out of their cars, so let them do that. 
let's just let them do that shall we yes 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 so yeah if you're into working out and you're familiar with any of anything that i do today which is i mean it's not that mad i'm literally just going to do deadlifts snatches swings um push-ups with shoulder plank taps and then i'll do a warm-up and a warm-up and then maybe we'll try and do pull-ups for, for fun maybe we'll try maybe we'll try and do pull-ups for fun there you go fun why is it fun because it gives you an ego boost purely that's literally the only reason bro the one thing that will be easier um because of ramadan weight loss is pull-ups that's for sure this snatch test if i want to pass that in the summer or in october if i want to get my kettlebell certificate instructor thing really what i could do is just fast before it and just shred loads of weight and then just do it on the 12 kilogram kettlebell because i know i can do it <clears throat> with the 12 kilogram because i've tested myself and then i'll be fine <laughs> but that's cheating because this weight loss is not sustainable it's literally only because i'm fasting i know as soon as ramadan's done my app like i'm gonna be it's gonna come back my usual weight will come back and my usual weight is like between 63 and 65 kilograms and that's when i feel my strongest anyway let's not talk too much about that because that will be another video ramadan eating disorders and body image i'm actually going to go in the gym now am i is it time for me yet let me see guys do you know what i am in two oh i'm gonna miss me package no let me know in the comments if you're still working out in ramadan also, if you'd like to see a beginner's workout or would you rather see an intermediate workout? Or like, where are you guys, my audience? Where are you at in your fitness journey? Where is the majority of you? Are you more beginner? Are you, have you been working out for a while? Do you feel like I shouldn't do a beginner thing? I should do more of intermediate. What do you guys want to see? Let me know. And, um, and I'll try my best, okay? But I'm going in the gym now and you'll see my workouts and then... Okay, and that, then that's it. So here I am warming up with a bit of skipping, um, tripping up. This is kind of usually what happens whenever I skip, to be honest with you. I just trip, get annoyed, trip again, try again, just try and get warm as well. Usually what I do is I just listen to music that I like and then just freestyle and maybe sometimes practice some new moves, get my legs warm with a bit of squat jumps try again oh my god I've been trying to get this move for absolutely months but I just I just can't do it it's been literally so long I'm thinking of giving up but sometimes it's fun to just try it every now and then when I'm having a little rest I cut out the trip but I did trip again then <laughs> and look at that look at those mate sorry but they are on point yes they are yeah a bit of shuffle more squat jumps get the heart rate up go on girl get nice and warm for your workout yeah lovely then once I've had enough of skipping, which is usually about 20 minutes, I'll go and do some stretches. So these are just plank push-up walkouts. I'll just do a few of them. These feel really good, especially if you've had a rest day the day before. Try and stretch out my um, hamstrings and whatever push-up stretches. Uh, if you notice, I can't actually touch my toes without bending my knees slightly. But I actually love doing these as part of a workout, but also... For a little warm up i think i ended up doing about 10 of these i'm not actually sure and then i'll just try and hold the stretch for a little bit as you know my hamstrings are horrendously tight all the time now we're into a deep deep squat and i'll usually just hold this position for a while i mean i say a while but it's really not that long it's probably about a minute because then i just get so bored and then do a little bit of butt in the air, butt back down, butt in the air, butt back down to stretch the hamstrings again, which are so tight. A bit of back stretch. Sort out your trousers because they're going in all the niggly bits. Uh, then I grabbed a light kettlebell, 12 kilos, and did these halos, which basically you keep the kettlebell really close to you and bring it around your head. I'm doing alternate directions to warm up my shoulders and these can also be a strength workout if you want to do them for that or for a warm up, whatever you like. Then I just go into some forward lunges and little rotations. I actually don't know what these are for but we do them. 
in my gym classes so I'm doing them also not in my gym classes I think I did about 10 or maybe 12 maybe 20 I actually can't remember I just I just do things till they feel good usually when it comes to warm-up and then I actually set my timer on my phone that you can see on the floor there and I decided to do 100 snatches with the 12 kilogram bell um, before I start my actual workout just to see where I'm at I didn't actually time myself properly but I just kept an eye on the clock and the idea was to do 10 reps on each hand. So 10 reps on one hand, then switch hands, do another 10 reps, then put the kettlebell down, have a rest for the rest of that minute, and then go again for five minutes, because then technically I would have done 100 snatches. So I'm trying to do loads of snatches all the time, basically, to practice for what I was saying earlier. But then during this, I realized it's actually too painful on my hands. So I went to get those gloves that I showed you in the car, and then I realized that I left them in the car. So I had to get my old gloves, which are ones that I would not be able to use for the snatch test, but my mind changed then and I was just and I was just like, I just need to do this workout, so just put the bloody gloves on. So yeah, carried on with the snatches, did a hundred, and then had a little rest. Then we went along to try some chin-ups, moving this great big annoying man thing out of the way, but he was too heavy. I thought I'd be able to get three out but in the end I literally did one and I was completely over it so I hung there for about three seconds let go and moved along to set up my circuit which is basically deadlifts see me getting the bar ready here this is the most annoying bit isn't it really this is actually a workout in itself and no matter how light the plate is I find this so difficult so I'm just putting 40 kilos on here because I'm going to do light deadlifts. As you can see, I'm still doing it. Yeah, hurry up, girl. My deadlifts are so bad, to be honest with you guys. I do struggle with them, which is quite mad, because I think I have a good kettlebell swing, and it's it's a similar movement. It's a hip hinge, so really, I should have a good deadlift, but I do find them a bit strange to understand the form. Anyway, then I add another 10 kilos to make it 50 kg, and that's the weight we keep it at for the whole circuit. Basically was, I think, either eight or ten reps of these deadlifts. I actually can't remember. I think it was just whatever I felt like while I was doing it. And then we move on to 16 kilo snatches, where I just do five on each arm. Yeah, I think it's five on each arm for the first round. And then I increased by one rep again on the second round. So I went six reps, then I think I went seven reps, then I went eight reps on the last round. To be honest with you, I did find this quite difficult because I'm fasting. Uh, usually I can bang out 10 reps of the 16 kilos, but I was struggling today. And then we moved to one arm swings with a 20 kg bell. I either did 10 reps on each arm and then switch, or I did five reps switch, five reps switch, five reps switch, five reps switch to get 20 reps altogether. Adjusting my headphones, going into push-ups. Push-up with four plank taps. So really, I should be keeping my hips so still. And to be honest with you, at the time, I thought they were dead still. But clearly, still some work to be done there. So your hips should not be swaying at all because your core should be really, really tight. It, I could feel it, though. I did feel super contracted. But obviously, it's not as good as, as I thought it was. <laughs> I think I did about five, maybe six reps of these. So one rep would be the push-up and four taps. I think that's what I did. I actually can't remember at this point because I'm doing this voiceover a day later and then go straight into 20 or 30 double unders whichever one you trip on basically so usually I make about 20 25 if I'm lucky I'll hit 30 to 40. Oh I just finished the gym look I'm all shaky the camera's shaking because I'm shaking I was there for about an hour and a half the workout was my battery died and then loads of people came in the gym so I was like definitely not changing batteries here and recording because are you not embarrassed? <laughs> I did some more skipping and then I did three sets of eccentric pull-ups, which is just basically jumping up on the bar and going down slowly. Three sets of those with some um, TRX rows, more skipping in between those. And then I just did some kettlebell fun flows. So like with a light 12 kilo kettlebell, I just did some like flow movements, which is just a really nice way to cool down or warm up sometimes or have as a full workout as well. I really enjoyed that workout. I think I went a little bit too long because I've just noticed how flipping thirsty I am and it's only 11 o'clock. We'll be fine. It's all good. I've got about four hours now to just 
put my head down, do some editing, do some work before the kids come home from school. And then time goes pretty quickly after that. So anyway, I'm going because I'm shaking so much. Okay, bye. <laughs>